know this tin is for Morris? Well, everything smells Viranids, but her spell is here. It'll be a while before she goes back to the castle. Her castle? Up there? Oh, it's not her castle. It's... Never mind. Maybe Belle will be safe enough in the forest for a while, at least. I am telling you, this is a job for science. My careful examination of the forest can find anything. You couldn't find your face with both hands. This calls for magic. I will sense where the wicked witch is with my magic divining rod. That's very impressive, fair enough. Can you find water or metal with one of those? Well, it depends what they're made of. If you want water, then you need a beech twig. And if you want metal, then you need a silver birch. Spice no Vera? Well, witch hazel, of course. Oh, 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 I'm getting something. Oh, that's a word. I will sense if the witch is round here with my clever device. <laughs> I will listen out for the pig. Now, my careful scientific deduction suggests that I go that way. Do you think you can help again, everybody? Yeah! yeah. Can you go bleep bleep if anyone goes near the device? Yeah! Let's practice. Do that if anyone gets close. We'll keep searching. Ooh, oh, I'm getting a strong signal. We get a flippin' fairy. Oh, 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 here we go again. Oh, it's this away again. Oh, 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 well, don't sound so disappointed. I mean, it's enough to make a lovely young lady feel that I'm not as lovely as what I really am. <laughs> oh, it's only Dame Dumpling. Well, not you and all. No, oh, it's only Mum. Here, I'm getting fed up with this. Sorry, Mum, but we're trying to catch a witch. Have no fear. Dumplings here. <laughs> I'll get my patrol. What patrol, Dame Dumpling? The finest bunch of girls ever to earn a knot tying badge. Yes. <laughs> Stand aside. <laughs> left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right. Hold. Face the front. Now then, straighten those woggles. You'll not find a lost bear with a wobbly woggle, you know. <laughs> so these are your troops, Stone Dumpling. Yes, that's right. I'm Barn Owl, and this is my Twit Patrol. Why Twit Patrol? As in, to wit, to woo. We're owlies, you see. Owlies? Yes, a bit like the brownies, but with more feathers. Now, us owlies try to be like owls, don't we, girls? How do we try to be like them? We try to be wise, Barnard. We try to be wise. We try to be alert, Barnard. We try to be alert. We try to eat mice, Barnard. We try to eat mice. No, 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 Cynthia. We do not, no. We try to learn the secrets of the forest. Secrets like where to find uh, all the... Who keeps Katie behind the bike sheds at playtime? Really? <laughs> no, no, no. I mean secrets like where to find food, water and shelter in the depths of the forest. And where do you find those things? Oh, just outside. Lovely little calf. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're here to do our bit, aren't we, girls? Yes, I am. What's our motto, girls? I will always try to wear my best. Shouldn't that be, do my best? Oh, no, no, it's very nippy out here in the forest. <laughs> we are the girls of Twit Patrol, good things we try to do. 
So when we see our dear bell now, we give our cry, Twit Twit! <laughs> to sing that to my barn owl when I was a little girl. Things were different then. Was it very cold, barn owl? Was what very cold, dear? Living in caves. And hating dinosaurs. Oh, here, here. Do you want your good conduct badges? We're not paying more than a fiver each. Ten? <laughs> Ten and I'll chuck in your knicking. Knit, knicking? Knitting badges. Here. It's just time to do our music and movement. I tell you what we'll do. We'll do underneath the spreading chestnut tree. Are you ready? Wonderful, if only we got a few more people to join in with us. Ah, 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 yeah. yeah, you all are. You didn't think you were going to get off that easily, did you, eh? Yeah, oh, yes, you did. Well, you're not either. Now you've had your chalk ices, you've had your uh, coffees, you've had your teas, you've had your crisps. It's time to work off some of that excess. So, we're going to see it again, and we want to see you all joining in. a nice drink of milk nugget. In fact, I, I just fancy a nice strawberry milkshake. So, come on, nugget, shake it all about. Now, where's this strawberry milkshake? 
Oh, another little shake. Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> oh, I tell you what, Nugget. I'd just like a nice pickled onion. Ma'am, surely you can't do that. Oh, you'll just wait and see. Come on, Nugget. <laughs> no, Nugget, I said a pickled onion, not a Pringles onion. Oh, dear old. Oh, girls, did you bring me a chair? Sorry, Barnard, we forgot. Oh, what a shame. Never mind. Nugget! <laughs> no, I was only going to ask you to fetch it! <laughs> Excuse me. I seem, to, I seem to be lost. Um, do you think you could show me the way to Nether Goldwater? Now's your chance, girls. Show the nice lady where Nether Goldwater is. No way! <laughs> Thank you. Most kind. <laughs> Yeah, who is that anyway? Never mind, Mum. We should be looking for a wig. Oh, I'm that Mr. I don't know. Quickly, I've just seen I don't know. Everybody has but me. He's seen Smell Vera, and she's coming this way. We oh. better hide and see what she's up to. Oh, quickly, girls, come on, go and find, go and find the villagers, the villagers and bring him here. Come on, yeah. let's get out of sight. I have all I need for my spell. Toadstools, bark, feathers. Now all I have to do is to make Baby Bear eat 13 blackberries here in the forest. Then I can take him back to my castle and cut off his ears. <laughs> oh, I'm so nasty. <laughs> you you At last. He's been like this for the last half hour. He's driving me crazy. Oh, this dear, sweet bear. Oh, the poor thing. Hey? Yeah, it's smelly smell, Vera. Oh, don't be like that, my little lambkin. I only want to be your friend. But Dad says you're a whole world witch who wants to cut my ears off. <laughs> Silly idea. I'm not an evil witch, am I? Yes! Oh, no, I'm not. Yes, you are. Oh, no, I'm not. Yes, what would you know? I'm nice and kind and generous. Would you like a blackberry? Oh, well, it probably 
probably taste the same. <laughs> He's eaten all the blackberries! Now I can take him back to my castle. <laughs> You want? You're coming with me. Not so fast, Melvin. Nothing. You can stop me. You two, deal with him. No, you won't. You won't stop me. I'll cast my most horrible spell on you all, starting with you. Rats and toads and crawl and creep. Sleep. Don't worry, it'll soon wear off. Baby Bear, did she get Baby Bear? He's safe and sound. Look, they're all starting to wake up. I'd better get after those three nasties. We need to put a stop to them. For good. Right, I'll see that everyone's okay. Oh, my baby! I'm all right, Mum. Oh, here, yeah, somebody get the number of that bus. Oh. It was Snow Vera. She cast a sleep spell. Oh, did she get Baby Bear? No, I'm glad to say. We're all safe and sound. Oh, here. Yeah. It was ever so strange. I dreamt I heard my husband's voice. <laughs> it was ever so strange. Goldie, Goldie, I say it was... Goldie! Goldie! Goldie, can you hear me? Well, what's the matter with her? She won't wake up. Oh, dear, I was afraid of this. You see, when Goldie stepped in front of Peter, she took all of Smelvira's spell to herself. Well, how long will it take her to wake up? Oh, that's just it. I don't really know. The first spell was for eternal sleep, and she might never wake up. Oh, Goldilocks! Goldilocks! Well, you're a fairy. Can't your magic do anything? Well, Smelvira's magic is very strong, and I don't know if I can do We that. should take her back to my laboratory. I am sure science can help. Yes, anything, anything. Right, let's go to the laboratory. Oh, I think we've lost them. Yeah, and I don't want to find them again either. I don't know. We spend most of our time running away from woodcutters and bears. Maybe we're not cut out to be gangsters. Well, you said we wasn't gangsters anyway. No. We were pretending not to be gangsters to fool the day. Oh, yeah. yeah. Pretending. What's pretending? <sighs> well, well sp suppose you want to spend all day in bed, but your gran wants you to get up. You could say you're ill, even when you're not. That's pretending. No, that's lying. My gran told me not to lie. All right. We'll try a different example then, shall we? Do you see this end? No. <laughs> Do you oh! see it now? Yes. Now look, if I hold my, my fingers like this, I can pretend it's a gun. Oh, don't see? shoot, don't shoot! But it's not really a gun. It's just my fingers. See? Oh, it's pretend. Yeah. Can I do it? Sure you can. Look, like this. Bang, 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 bang! Bang, 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 bang! Pretend, like Smelvira, 
pretending to be nice to poor baby bear. But she is nice. She gave him all those blackberries. <coughs> no, those were for her spill. She's really a witch. No, she's just <coughs> pretending to be a witch. No! Well, who am I pretending to be, then? A human being. <laughs> now shut up before I pretend to give you a good thumb pin. Oh, wait a minute. Quick, someone's coming. Oh, let's hide. Everyone's gone to the professor's laboratory to try and help Goldilocks with his scientific what's names and doodars, and they don't need me. Aww. Well, what good am I if I can't do any magic to help her? Oh, I'm so useless, and I'll never be a fairy godmother now. And I bet they all hate me because I couldn't stop smell Vera. Oh, I'm just a useless old fairy that nobody loves. It's real. Are you still lost? Oh, no, not lost exactly. <clears throat> I'm still looking for Nether Goldwater. Well, why don't you just give up and go home? Give up? <coughs> why should I do that? Because you're as good at finding places as what I am at magic. And I'm so useless at that, I'm going to give it all up. And I did so want to be a fairy godmother. And you never will be, unless you try. I'll not stop looking for Nether Goldwater. I'll look on the bright side, that's my motto. Now, I'm going to try over that way. Come. <laughs> well, maybe she's right. Maybe I shouldn't give up. Now, what was that she said? Some things in life are bad, they can really make you mad. Other things just make you swear and curse. When you're chewing on life's crystal, don't grumble, give a whistle. And this will help things turn out for the best. And always look on the bright side of life. Things you do just never go your way. But do not leave aside, just have another try. And maybe things will all turn out okay. And always look on the bright side of life. Always look on the bright side of life. The love, so have a joke or two. You know it's all for show. Keep them laughing as they go. And maybe they will laugh along with you. And always look on the bright side of life. Always look on the bright side of life. Always look on the bright side After that, do you think I ought to go and help the others at the laboratory? Yes! You do? Yes! Then I shall do my best. Well, I better hurry and catch them up. Bye! Bye! Ah, gone to the laboratory, eh? Smell Vera would like to know that. Would she? Well, here she comes, you can tell her. Oh. Tell me what, you gormless gangsters! Oh, uh, nothing you'd like to know? 
Like you said she would. Come on, what is it? Do you know where Baby Bear is? Yeah, he's gone to the laboratory. <laughs> it's laboratory. They've gone to the laboratory. Oh, turnips. The laboratory, hey? What are they going to do there? They're going to go and try and wake Goldie up from your spell. Perfect! They'll be distracted by that, and you can kidnap Baby Bear again easily. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, yes, unless you want to find out what it's like to be wrong. <laughs> now, I know of a secret tunnel into the professor's laboratory. You two can get there before them and be ready to grab that little bear at the first opportunity. <laughs> Then you can take another secret tunnel to my castle, where I will be waiting. Come! Do not fail me! <laughs> It's just a, an, an old laboratory, that, that's all. An old freaking laboratory. It's just dark and, and scary and spooky. <laughs> Maybe it would be let better with a light on. Good idea. Uh, Let's look for a light switch. <laughs> chance to grab baby bear. But where are we going to hide? Well, all about under that table back there. That, 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 that. Yeah, yeah, that table back right there. It's the perfect place to wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that table back right there. Now be quiet. We've got to listen to the professor. Yeah, kidnap baby bear, I told you. Yeah, baby bear. Now be quiet. Will you stop doing that and settle down? <laughs> I didn't mean go to sleep. Come on, wake up. Help! Help! It's up to me! Oh, <laughs> shut up. You've been having a nightmare. Have I? Yeah. Oh, oh, thank goodness for that. Oh, it was horrible. This great big monster was coming to get us. Oh, don't be stupid. I mean, I say, have you ever heard of anything so stupid? I mean, I say, have you ever... <laughs> <laughs> what a pair. What a... I was just having a kiss under this sheet over there when I heard him come in and I thought I'd give him a bit of a fright. And it worked. Well, I'm just going to have another 40 weeks, I think. Come 
one bit. You better put it on the table here. Oh, this table over here? Yeah. But what's all this rubbish on here anyway? Oh, 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 oh it's alive! Oh, oh, oh what's oh, going on? <laughs> oh, it's you. Oh, you Oh, they have set up my equipment and the electromagnetic screen. <laughs> What's happened to us? Was it snow here a spell? Yes, it wore off everyone except Goldie. And, and what about this poor lady? Didn't it wear off for her either? No, she's just fainted. You gave her such a fright. Ha! Ah, like I frightened those gangsters, eh? They won't be back in a hurry. Snow well, Mary won't give up so easily. Hmm. I think I better go and spy out what she's doing up at her castle. Oh, it's not her castle, it's. Never mind. Yes, you do that. We shall have to stop her for good. Mind you, I don't know what we can do against her magic. Perhaps I can help. Oh, fair enough. I wondered where you'd got to. Well, I didn't think I'd be any use, but I think I might have something that will help stop you against Smelvira's magic. Oh, what is it? My anti-magic balaclava helmet. <laughs> this will protect me from Smelvira's magic. Against any magic. Try it. <laughs> oh, it doesn't feel very magical. Of course it isn't magical. There is no such thing as magic. Well, what about Smelvira's spell? And what about Goldie? Ah, well, I think we'll try a little experiment. I will cast a spell over you all, and if the balaclava works, I don't know, won't be effective. I think I'll try a chicken spell. I beg your pardon? Or something to make you cluck like a chicken. I would like to see you try. Go ahead. Right. Um, oh, the magic words. Oh, oh what are they, boys and girls? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, ta. Right. Um, um, let them cluck and shake their hips. The magic words are fish and chips. So, nothing has happened. I told you there was no... Professor, it works! It was... <laughs> I say, that's very clever. And you're right. This balaclava did protect me from your spell. I only hope it works as well against smell Vera's magic. So do I. Oh, oh, I'm sure it will. That's amazing. Well, I hope you have as much luck waking Goldie up. I'd better go. Go, 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 go! Oh, well, I suppose I'd better get up and feed the chickens. Oh, oh what's going on? Oh, that was most unusual. Oh, thank goodness that's worn off. I thought I was about to lay an egg. Oh. Now do you believe in magic, Professor Clever Clocks? Well, I may have been mistaken. But your balaclava work too. I don't know, it was completely unaffected. <laughs> God, you know. Was he here? Yes, he was under the sheets. Well, where is he now? No, don't tell me. You I just, just missed, missed him. him. Never oh. mind, we've got someone else to worry about. Yes, yes, anything you can do, Professor. I will try. I have been perfecting the revival technique invented by my friend, Dr. Frankenstein. <laughs> Using special chemicals and electrical charge, I intend to wake young Goldie from her trance. Electrical charge? Yeah, 2,000 volts. Blimey, that'll wake anybody up. Ah, What's wrong? Someone has discharged the electrical storage capacitor oh. cell, don't you know? Did we have to wait for it to charge up again? Hmm. Uh, have you ever done this before, Professor? Oh, yeah. When I worked for Dr. Frankenstein, we not only revived our patient, but we got him to dance as well. Well, as we've got to wait for the thingy to charge up again, why don't you tell us about it? Well, let me see. It was like this. I was working in my lab late one night when my eyes beheld an eerie sight. My monster from the slab began to rise, who suddenly, to my surprise, Monster Mash, well, 
Company, you keep. I don't want my Goldie turned into a, a dancing monster. Oh, do not worry, there, Dublin. She will be perfectly safe. Oh, I will now begin the procedure. First, the injection. <laughs> perfectly <laughs> safe. Oh. And now, the electricity. Peter, stand by the switch. I will plug her in. <laughs> Think about that. 
The sooner we get into smell bearers, the better. Let me go! Let me go! Yeah, let him go! Whose side are you on? Well, I don't want smell bearer to. You know what? I don't like it either. What else can we do? Look, we've got to take you to smell bearers whether we like it or not. So get a move on. I thought you're supposed to be big tough gangsters. Can't you stand up for yourself? Yeah, we could do that. Yeah, yeah, you're right. We're, we're big tough gangsters. We, we're not afraid of a stupid old witch. We just go to her and say, smell Vera, we're taking over now and nobody's going to get their ears cut off. Yeah, that's what we'll say. And she'll probably turn us into something horrible and nasty. Mm. How will you tell the difference? Now listen here. <laughs> Listen to that, what is it? Oh, whatever it is, it's getting near him. It's a monster! It's a great big killer mole with great big sharp pointy teeth! Yes, oh. it. Well, I don't think that's a good idea. Come on, let's go to the castle. Are we safe for this? We'll be here or not? Come on. Oh, God. <laughs> All sorts. Oh. Can we rest here for a minute, please? We've got to get to the castle to save my son. I know that, but how do we know that this animal knows the right way to get to France? Oh, yes. La Belle France. You know why they call it La Belle, don't you? Because they're all having a ding dong time. <laughs> Please yourselves. <laughs> oh, and them big Frenchy men with their sexy voices and their big airy arms. The oh, dumpling! Oh, oh. It is scientifically impossible to get to France through this tunnel. Oh, well, in that case, then we'll go by ferry, dear. Oh, yes, fresh air, sea breezes, and the gentle rolling of the ocean. Up and down. Up and down. I'm feeling sick. Let's forget France. Oh, they eat far too much garlic anyway. Whoa. We're going to the castle, Mum. Not France. I know that. What do you think I am, stupid? Don't answer that. Here, anyway. Oh, we'll take this tunnel down here, but hey, don't forget you're duty free. Because I've got everything. Yes, I've got beers, wines, spirits, cigars, perfume. Oh, oh, perfume? Oh, what have you got? Uh, nugget! <laughs> there we are, look at that. <laughs> Chanel number 10. A bit like number 5, but twice as strong. <laughs> oh, you'll knock them in dead with that. Oh, blimey, you knock anybody dead with that. There'll be no duty free for us, Dame Dumpling. Not until we've done our duty and free baby bear. Oh, we must hurry. When I think of my poor baby alone with that witch. Yes, you're right. That poor woman doesn't know what she's let herself in for. Eh? Lead on, Nugget! <laughs> <coughs> seem to be lost again. Could you show me the way to Nether Goldwater? Well, considering the fact that we're miles underground, I'd say it was that, that way. way! Where are the idiots with that bear? I've got everything else for my spell. I'm full of magic, and I'm here in the Duke of Goldshear's castle. <laughs> Once I have the ears of that dratted bear, I can cast my wicked spell and be ruler of the land for miles around. <laughs> but why stop there? I'll take over the Dawson Community Centre and turn it into a factory for making We've got him, just like you wanted. At last! Time 
into that chair tightly. I don't want him to struggle when I cut off his ears. <laughs> you won't dare. My dad will save me and he'll splat you and splat you and splat you until you're squashed and flat. And then you'll be sorry. I'm ready for your daddy and his friends. My magic will knock them out, then my boys will finish them off. Won't you, boys? Oh, I couldn't do that. Oh, Grandma never speak to me again. You'll do as I say, or I'll turn you into a monster and send you to eat your own granny for supper. We, we, we'll do anything you say, you'll buy on us. We will, honest. Listen, I've got a plan. We'll only pretend to tie to the chair so that when she's not looking, you can get away, OK? Yeah. Right. Let's tie him to this chair, good and proper. Hey, Mugsy. Have you got some in your arm? <laughs> <laughs> Remember the plan. Oh, yeah. Right, we'll tie him up really tight. Yeah, really, really tight. Overdo it. <laughs> oh, I do like being nasty and hurting people. <laughs> I feel so evil. I could sing. <laughs> I can do magic. Nasty black magic, so all beware. I put a spell on baby bear and sniff his ears right. His head, witchcraft and voodoo, chiggery, pokery, razzmatazz. You know, I can be so evil and everybody hates me, but I will rule gold water. Don't care how long it takes me, it's magic, magic, trickery, hocus pocus. Good old black magic, magic, and I know that every dream I ever have will come true. When I do magic, magic, like I can do. so tightly. I heard what was happening from my hiding place. We were pretending to full smell Vera. Ah, all right. Maybe you're telling the truth. Have you got a plan? Well, oh, look at this. Two grown men to, to look after one baby bear. Oh, oh, and they've even got one of them SAS blokes to help them. Shame on you. Dave Dumpling, that's I don't know. He's on our side. Is it? Oh, I beg your pardon. You must be Dame Dumpling. Delighted to meet you at last. Oh, yes, here. 
Here, but what are you doing with these two naughty boys? Well, they're on our side too, I think. We are. We are. Yes, we don't want to hurt baby bear. Well, I don't trust them, no. Not after what they did to me. No, I, I, I've never been so insulted. But with a face like that, you must have been. <laughs> please, please, it ain't small bear, and we need all the help we can get. We'll splatter, eh, hey, Dad? Yes, son. This time we'll splatter good and proper. My brave little soldier. Right, do we have a plan? Oh, yeah. Well, what I was thinking of was... Wait a minute. She's coming back. Oh. Look, huddle in the corner. <laughs> Pretend I've captured you. Yeah. <laughs> Thought you could come to the rescue, hey? For once, my pathetic henchmen have done well. Keep them covered, boys. They can watch. Not so fast, Melvira. Let him go. And leave this castle never to return. Did you think I trusted you idiots that much? I fix the gun so that they can't hurt me. Fire them all you want. You won't stop me! Oh, you rotten old man! Ah, ah, no, no, wait! Remember, remember, Muggsy, when we were pretending? Yeah! yeah Stick him up! Oh, now you're getting really pathetic! <laughs> it seems I underestimated you! Rats and toes and creep and frog! Stop these goodies! What at all? Now to complete my evil spell. Before they snap out of it, then it'll be too late! <laughs> You're going to get splattered. Who oh, by? By me. Rats and toads are creep and crawl. Stop this idiot! Make him fall! Your magic can't stop me, Smelvira. Oh, in that case, perhaps this will! <laughs> My boy. Well done, Teddy. What's happened to poor Mr. Roy tonight? Here, I'll get to meet him at last, and he gets clobbered. Oh, come on, come on, speak to me, speak to me. Tell me you're not dead. Oh, do stop fussing. I'm perfectly all right, Gladys. Hang on a minute. Just a minute. Take that balaclava off. Diddle dumpling. It is you, Gladys. I. I remember. I'm Diddle Dumpling, the woodcutter, and you're my wife. Oh, <laughs> Diddle, you come back to me. Then, then Goldilocks is, is our daughter. Dad. Oh, my baby. Oh, my oh, my own family back together again. And thanks to you, my family can now live safely together again. Oh, I've got a sort of warm feeling in my tummy. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. It makes, I think we'd be better off being good guys from now on. Makes you feel much better than working for Smelvira did. Mm. Smelvira, we'd forgotten about her. What do we do when she wakes up? If she puts any more trouble, I'll splatter! Yeah. Oh. 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 What hit me? I did! Oh. Why did you do that? Who are you? Huh? Who am I? Can't you remember? I'm afraid not, my dear sir. It's all rather hazy. Perhaps it's best if you don't remember. <laughs> oh, dear, was I not very nice? You could say that, yes. Oh, dear. Oh, I do hope everything's all right now, though. Everything's fine. In fact, everything's better than fine. Now I've got my dad back. Oh, didn't I tell you how brave and handsome he was? Oh, and look what he did to that nasty witch. Oh, nasty witch? Where? <laughs> it was nothing. I'd never have dared face her at all if it hadn't have been for Fairy Nuff's magic balaclava. I'm sorry I ever doubted you, madam. Oh, that's all right. I wasn't sure it was going to work either. <laughs> now she tells me. You are wonderful, madam. I wonder, would you be interested in doing a little study with me into how science and magic could work better together? The science and magic, eh? Yeah. We could make a great team, don't you know? <coughs> well, if we were going to do it properly, it would mean we would have to work together nearly all the time. Yeah, you see, I was thinking <laughs> that perhaps we ought to get married, is that oh, it? Yeah, you could make me the happiest professor in the world. Will you marry me, Miss Nuff? Oh, Professor, yes! Oh. Or should I say, Regina? Yes. There's something I'd like to ask 
questions. Yes. Do you think? Could you? Will you marry me? Yes. Oh, yes. yes. Uh, uh, just, just, just a minute, young man. I may have been away a long time, but I'm still her father. Don't you think you should ask my permission first? Oh, I'm sorry, Idina. I mean, Mr. Dumpling. Please, may I marry your daughter? Well, <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, my little girl getting married. <laughs> Come on now, Gladys. This is a happy occasion. Oh, I am so happy. I've got you back at last. And my, my little girl's getting married. <laughs> Even though it is only to the lodger. <laughs> yes. We'd better find you somewhere to live. Well, actually, we already have a place here. Here? Near the castle? No, here. This is my castle. But before Smelvira took over, this was the castle of the Duke and the Duchess of Goldshed. Yes, but Smelvira used her magic to throw them out. With their baby son. That was me. My parents died of shame in exile, but I swore I would return and claim my title and this castle. You're the rightful Duke of Goldshire. Do you still want to marry me? But if you're the Duke, you could have the finest girl in the land. If you marry me, I will. Goldie, Goldie, a word in your shell, like. Look, he's a Duke. He's handsome and he's probably got lots and lots of the old reddies. So stop messing about and marry him. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> um, um, your Highness. Oh, yes, me. What is it? Well, well, I was wondering what was going to happen to me and Magsy and Smelvira. Are you going to punish us? No, I don't think so. <sighs> now there's going to be a Duke and Duchess again, we should need a lot of help around here. I would like a housekeeper and some experienced guards. <gasps> Oh, that's Castle Guards. Oh, yes, please. Oh, that, that'll please my grand. What about my old friend Teddy? And he can be an honorary Castle Guard as well. Oh. Brilliant! Don't get distract anyone! If we ever get any trouble from a nasty witch again, you have my permission to splatter all you like. Yes. <laughs> no, dear, this isn't Nether Goldwater either. I know. I found Nether Goldwater. Oh. But it turns out it's Little Goldwater I wanted. Oh. I'm looking for Dame Dumpling. Well, that's me, but what, what, why have you come to find me here, dear? I've got a message for you from your cousin Dolly. Yes? She says, look out for I don't know the woodcutter. He's coming this way. He looks just like your husband. Oh. Oh. Before you just saved an awful lot of bother. Never mind. We're all together now. So off to the wedding. Yay! Hello, everybody. Hello, Is there anybody there? Settle down, because I've got some bad news and I've got some good news. The bad news is that the dance tonight at Nether Goldwater has been cancelled. Everybody say ah! Oh. 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 Yeah. yeah, but the good news is everybody's been invited to the wedding at the castle. Everybody say hooray! Yeah. Now, as I'm such a kind and generous person, here I am generous, aren't I, lads, eh? <laughs> generous all over. What? Hey! I've uh, volunteered to come out here and keep you, little lot, entertained. While I'm doing all this, you see, I'm having to keep on talking because I've been left here completely on me Todd. <laughs> in a few minutes, there'll be two assistants ready to join me. In fact, they're ready now. Hello. So come on, lads. Hello, Dame Dumpling. Oh, Dame Dumpling. Oh, you're going to make lovely soldiers. Oh, I do like a man in uniform, don't you, girls? <laughs> come on, don't be shy. <laughs> you do like a man in uniform, don't you, girls? Yeah. Oh, of course you do. Now, you two, look, I want you to help me with the most important part of the whole pantomime. Okay. 
Here, where are you going? I'm going to close the curtains. No. Oh, dear, oh, dear. I do hope that when you start your guarding, you'll remember to put your brain back in again. No, this is the part in the show where we find out whether that lot out there are breathing or not. Are you breathing or not? Yes! I told you, half of them are not breathing. Yes, cos now we're going to sing a song. Oh, yes, we are! Oh, no, we are! Oh, yes, no, we are! Watch it, because my future son-in-law's a duke, and if you don't do what we say, he might lock you up in his a prison. So we're gonna sing it, but don't worry, it's ever so simple. You'll all know the words. So come on, girls, bring on the song sheet. <laughs> Everybody knows it. You don't know it. Oh, this, this has ruined the whole show. I'll tell you what, tell you what, we'll have a go at it. But first of all, how about a nice round of applause for our band, ladies and gentlemen? Now, <laughs> nice to the intro, Amadeus, and let's give it a whirl. They don't know it either. <laughs> no, it's a bit of a disaster, really. It's sort of made the old show go... Oh, no, should we have a little competition? Carry on, my boy. Yes. yes. What we're going to do, this side of the auditorium is going to be singing for once, and that side of the auditorium is going to sing it once. But we're going to be better, aren't we? Yes! Far away.
on a bit. Isn't there somebody missing? Who's missing? There's two of them awake over there and one over there. Yes, of course. Nugget. So, one more time, we'll call for Nugget and see if she can hear us. So, after three. One, two, three. Everybody's happy, our panto now is done. I've found my wife and daughter. What's more, I've gained a son. We'll soon be Duke and Duchess, full of love and devotion. And I'm their fairy godmother, cos I got my promotion. <laughs> you got me as well. We are to marry. It's fantastic. And I got my Big Mac. A shame it tastes like plastic. <laughs> My son is safe, he's made worthwhile, a mother's love and care. Yeah, surely can't deny he's smarter than the average bear. My memory's gone, but I don't care. I'm starting a new life. Since everybody's doing it, shall we be man and wife? <laughs> Castle guard, so that should please my grand. Yeah, and I feel like a mantie, because at last I've got my man. <laughs> Although the castle's over, I'm happy as one tends, but now we say goodbye from God.